Hello, everybody. My name is Rick McCutcheon. I'm a Dynamics 365 MVP, and I'm here today with Russ Inman from Cobalt. Russ, introduce yourself. Tell us about your company. All right. Thanks, Rick. So as Rick said, I'm Russ Inman. I'm the CEO of Cobalt. Cobalt is a Dynamics 365 partner focusing on CRM solutions uh, for business enterprises and uh, we've been we've been around since 1996. Uh, before we worked so heavily with the Dynamics 365 product line, uh, we built a lot of custom web applications. Uh, but when then Microsoft came out with the CRM platform, we said that that was the future of business data, and we really wanted to we really wanted to be there uh, and working on you know, building applications that could solve business challenges using that Dynamics 365 platform. And, you know, I've known you over the years and the platforms changed, the business is built and, it, and it's gotten a lot different, but, you know, what hasn't is not different is, you know, the problems we're solving for the client. Now I got an email from one of your sales reps last week about, you know, your program for your partner to partner program for upgrades, you know, working with partners, from on-premise systems to cloud systems. And I thought, you know what? That would be a great subject to talk about for a partner talk. So, you know, I, I contacted you and here we are. So um, are there still a lot of companies on-premise that need to move to the cloud? Yeah, amazingly, there are. I mean, you know, great news when, you know, Microsoft has done a phenomenal job with their uh, Dynamics 365, you know, online, uh, environment, but uh, because the product's been around for so long, there were a lot of, you know, a lot of people that started with an on-premise solution, and because, uh, you know, because it was working well uh, and doing what they needed, they have not found the need yet to migrate to online. But with all the new tools and technologies around. Uh, the Dynamics 365 platform, you know, with Power Platform and marketing, all of those uh, great, you know, uh, marketing and sales tools are now out there, but they really need to leverage the power of, uh, you know, the online platform. And so we've seen uh, a lot of organizations that now saying the, the business case is there, I now need to, you know, take the time, money and effort to move uh, to the cloud uh, and take advantage of all those new technologies. Okay. So, you know, I do a lot of work with new partners and um, actually I do some work for uh, one of the distributors and we train new partners on how to become business application partners. And the coaching I do is they come to me and they say, Rick, I've got a customer and they've got 200 people on premise and this is going to be my first project and we're going to move them to the cloud. And I say, whoa, slow down, <laughs> right? Um, this may not seem as easy, easy as you think it is. So take us through some of the scenarios and some of the issues that someone who's been on premise for a decade needs to think about when they're moving to the cloud. Yeah. Well, I mean, you've got uh, the first thing uh, that you've got to think about is the data that's in the system itself. So do you need all that data? You know, because when you move to the cloud, uh, data does cost something. Uh, whereas on premise, you know, maybe you're saving, you know, huge attachments in your database and you're really bloating the size of the system, but it's not really necessary. So think about what data is in the system that you do need to run your business, what may be nice to have, and what. Uh, is no longer relevant. We see a lot of organizations that say, we did something back three, five years ago. We're not using that part of the system anymore. Don't, don't migrate that data. You're only causing yourself headaches by you know, migrating data that's not going to be necessary. And this may be the best opportunity they have actually to cleanse that data. Clean it. Yeah, absolutely. This is a great time to clean the data. Uh, so see what you're using, you know, look at that data, see what you're using, uh, et cetera. The second thing, you know, I mentioned uh, earlier was integrations. So what the Dynamics 365 platform is a great platform. And the reason people are using it is because there are so many 
integrations, so many third-party tools, so many add-ons that you can use. It's the power of the platform, and it's also one of the biggest challenges and headaches when you're migrating to a new system because not all solutions work the same way on-premise and online. So you need to make sure, does your vendor support? Uh, do they have a new solution for online? Do they support online? If not, maybe look at a different solution. But those third-party integrations and third-party add-ons are a big, big key uh, because that's what makes the platform so powerful, but uh, that's also what makes the upgrade so complex. So also, uh, if I'm dealing with old customizations, um, they're, they're different than the new customizations. Absolutely. So does your tool help with that migration? Yeah, so we can do some, we can do some mapping for you there. Uh, and uh, we can, you know, help you transition your solutions moving from, you know, you have to upgrade your solutions if you were 2011 to 2013, 2015, what we call moving up the chain, moving those solutions up the chain. Uh, so we can definitely, we can definitely help with that. Uh, but if they're very, very sophisticated customizations, most likely you're going to want to recreate them uh, in the, in the mm -hmm. online platform. And we can help do that and we can give you guidance uh, on doing that. Okay, so if I'm a partner and I don't normally do Dynamics projects like the one I, I talked about, um, they can come to your organization and, and you can outsource the upgrade for them? We can do that. Yeah, we can, we can white label it uh, for you or we can uh, you know, contract with uh, the organization, with your customer uh, as a partner directly if you wanted. So whatever partner can do the, use our tool and do the upgrade. We can work with partner, you know, in a white labeled fashion to do the upgrade, uh, help them do the upgrade, or we can contract directly uh, and do the upgrade for the customer. So any of those works for us. So how do you license the app? Do you license it to the partner or do you license it to the end user customer? We license it to the partner. So the partner and it's licensed on a per, uh, on a per upgrade basis. So each upgrade you just buy a uh, an upgrade for one organization and just uh, you know from because we're talking about data uh, it's very important to know where your data is going so all the data is being transferred on premise into Azure and then from Azure into D365 online and then we have it set up so our Azure apps run in the region in which uh, the data migration is happening. So if it's in Canada, we'll, we'll you know, deploy Azure apps in Canadian uh, data centers. If it's in Europe, if it's in Asia, we'll put it wherever uh, the source data is coming from so that you don't have to worry about you know, data moving to uh, another region uh, and causing any you know, concerns about that. Okay. Russ, thank you very much for your time today. Uh, I really appreciate you giving us an update on what's going on with Cobalt and your upgrade business. Um, are there any other apps that you're working on uh, for Dynamics 365? Yeah, we've got, uh, you know, Dynamics 365 and Power BI play so well together. Uh, we're working on some additional, you know, features and functionality to really make that uh, suite even more powerful. Uh, so definitely look for that uh, in the future, you know, because the, the power of business is in the data and being able to visualize that and get business insights from that, from your CRM data, that's what's going to give people the edge uh, in the future from a business perspective. So uh, we're, we're putting a lot of investment into uh, some new, new things coming out in that perspective. Okay, Russ, thanks for your time today. And we'll be talking to you in the near future about Dynamics 365 and Power Platform. All right. Thanks, Rick.